Hey everybody, Rodman here. Thanks for tuning in to Mercury Fallen. So, we're picking up where we left off. We have been deep drilling our pants off in order to supply the resources we need to expand the colony and head to the surface. Um, let's continue that little trend there. Uh, so what we're trying to do is to get a comm station all operational so that we can start sending people to the surface. Uh, what I need to do before that is, A, figure out what's going on with my power. Oh no, I, I actually powered that stuff off. So uh, what I need to do is go into my build and prioritize the power conduits that lead to the comm stations so that I can get comms back online. We have a lot of um, de-stressing quality of life fixes in and around this base or this underground cavern, I guess it is. Um, here's another stasis capsule. I suppose I'll dig around this. Uh, one thing we're waiting to do is to expand our barracks to allow for some additional people to be let in. I'm gonna accelerate time as well. All right, this comm station, I'm going to reduce power consumption. So what we've been trying to do is making the area that we live in a little less stressful so that people can start to relax. Uh, I'm not very good at de-stressing them, clearly. I've not done a wonderful job of it, but not for lack of trying. We are going to dig out whoever's in here, adding yet again to our population. And there's probably some additional people out and around, but I have not yet come close to my human cap. We're at 6 out of 10. That will bring me up to 7. Still not much of a risk. Okay, so the comm station is totally ready to go. I just have to figure out who's going to do it. So I'm going to send Robert Gerard to do it. Uh, we're kind of maxed out on our um, science at the moment, so he's going to double as a comms officer. So, now that I'm in the planet map, the planet map is where I can send expeditions to the surface, build surface structures and vehicles. It's telling me that. So this is the area that I've discovered so far. Each one of these is a different biome up here. Uh, another thing that I would be able to do is to, um, we can change the biomes, scanning for coverage, temperature, all that stuff, resources. Uh, there's resources to be exploited on the map up top. If I wanted to start a uh, exploration, what I really need to do is to figure out what colonist has maybe the least needed job. I know that's kind of sad to say. Uh, maybe Robin. So what I'm gonna do is wait a little bit longer for some of the construction jobs around the base to be finished, and then I will start to do surface exploration. I could also, once I have a larger barracks, um, utilize whoever is in this stasis pod to do it as well. So taking a look at the queue, I'm going to prioritize the walls over the plant pots and try to get the walls done so that I can recruit the people that I need to recruit sooner. These plant pots are uh, less important. Although it will make the living area, and I guess we're building them anyway, it will make the living area in here kinda nicer. Uh, <laughs> funny enough, we're just one big hemp farm. Well, that got built anyway. Better cook, better builder, better comms officer. 
So if you take a look at the, uh, the map up here, uh, the comms officer is finding little points of interest to investigate with our excursions, with our uh, expeditions. That's sort of their point and purpose. Oh yes, that is a fine looking, uh, a fine looking uh, barracks now. Probably I'm waiting on the uh, processed resources to do more of the construction projects, so I can get some of that stuff just by um, by destroying some of the ruins here. Get the resources I need to expand. Uh, taking a look, my s efforts to lower stress have been working a little bit. We've got um, uh, people below half stress which is significantly lower than they were uh, not even all that long ago. Just gonna add a bunch of, uh, you know what? I'm gonna change the layout of this room. The people that spend a lot of time sitting next to a station Oh, this door got all weird, huh? Uh, need maybe the most de-stressing. Because they're very stationary. Oh, that's the one I wanted to blow up. All right, there we go. I am eager to start expeditions, though, for sure. But I just want to finish up the area down here so that we can get this all up and running. One way to get the materials to continue building is to, as I, as I mentioned, breaking down the ruined walls. And what do we have here? We got a minerals chest with iron copper hematite. Another one, iron copper hematite and azurite, or steel rather, billet. An organic chest with some materials as well. So once the barracks is expanded and I've added that seventh person in, I will head to the surface. I'm making that my sort of landmark. So that means a, a bit of um, a bunch of uh, construction jobs that I'm just setting to priority. Not worrying about this area as much. Oh, but this is ready to go as well. Doors being weird. I don't even need a door there. It's not all that necessary. All right, so the floors are getting built. And once they're built, we'll throw in another bed. Two more beds. Might as well have room for expansion. And we'll get Mr. Seventh in there. Almost done. For all my efforts, I gotta say, we still have pretty high stress in and around this colony, but I'm trying. Some people are really de-stressed though. Chuck, I don't know what I'm doing right for you, but clearly it's working because you don't have a worry in the world. All right, I'm going to pop this open now. We've got Min Lane. Hello, Min. I'm going to have you... Yeah, you could just be hauling. Set you up to look 
like a UPS courier. And soon your bed should be all constructed. That does mean that I, uh, I should start to go on expeditions. So, here we go. If I go up to the world map, the planet map, start an expedition. Uh, Min, I'm going to send you. You're going to be on foot because I don't have food for you yet. Uh, and I'm going to send you with 15 cooked potatoes. And I'm going to have you embark. Oh, another thing I haven't done is I haven't set Min up. Hang on a minute. With equipment. Might as well get him decked in high tier equipment before he, uh, before he leaves us. Looks like my deep driller is out of deep drill jobs to queue. So we can queue those back up. At this point, might as well mine up just about everything. I don't really have any shortages at the moment, so I'll just go for whatever there is up there and out there. And eventually, what we'll have is we'll have the ability to explore, exploit basically all the materials that exist on the map here, on this. Uh, and I picked for that same purpose I picked a small map um, so that there isn't like seemingly infinite materials because if you start on a large uh, you don't really run at like there's no scarcity which makes it a little bit easier all right so you are where is my you're ready to go min lane and where are you literally he's already up the elevator i think let me see yeah on expedition all right awesome now you can uh send a bunch of people here uh and then i can also queue up something like a vehicle bay to be built so I'm going to do that as well. Uh, a vehicle bay allows you to um, have faster uh, movement, map movement speed. So I'm selecting the expedition team, and I'm going to send them to points of interest around the world map here um, to scan biomes and to uh, discover things about the surface of the planet that you otherwise would not know uh, from down below where I am. I think we're okay. So we got there. Uh, let's go back to the planet map. And we are going to investigate. Remnants of some sort of space vehicle crashed here. Could be super old. Uh, let's search the ship. And I have 11% chance to do that. Or search ship, ship systems, and I have a 0% chance to do that. So if he fails, or 13%, if he fails, what ends up happening is um, he becomes injured. So what I'm going to do um, is to send him elsewhere. I might want someone a little bit higher level and more experienced to do these excursions. A higher level engineer or technician. Um, someone that knows what they're doing. I don't know why I sent Min. I sort of forgot about the whole skill bonus. And then you could also send multiple people as well. It doesn't need to just be one. Uh, and the advantage of sending multiple people is you can pick the person that has the best skill to deal with the situation at hand. All right, Min, you are, you've arrived. So this point of interest gave bio samples and tangle fruit. Uh, what I'm going to do is have him come home, because he's sort of the the least experienced uh, person in the group. And I'll send, send someone that's a little bit more experienced. So Tango Fruit is like an orange banana, as they call it. If you take a look at the crops here, uh, I can't yet make it 
Uh, that's because it's locked up in research. I need to discover um, bluefish. And it's also, yeah, it's, so I can't make use of it yet. So I'm having them dock at the facility here. And Min just got back home. So I take a look at all of my guys here. Uh, Chuck Jones, you are a high level technician and engineer. Um, Min, what I'm gonna do with you is set you up to mimic Chuck Jones pretty much identically and you will be leveling up. And then Chuck, I'm gonna set you on the exp next expedition. So let's create another one. Send Chuck and have him bring some potatoes and embark. It's useful to have, you know, skilled people do that kind of stuff. So I'm also sort of strip mining my home cavern or whatever you want to call it. So soon that will be out of resources. Chuck, you ready? Yes, you're ready. Let's go embark on these points of interest. Now, I'm starting to build up um, specialty research. So you get research points through the research station here, but you can get uh, tech fragments and bio samples from the surface and surface only. And that's what I'm trying to do. So 29% chance, 15%. I uh, will go with 29. He got it, and as a result, he got an improved engine, 30 tech fragments, and 15 bio samples. Uh, that's a pretty good yield. And those um, those samples there um, allow for the yeah you know, allow for some additional research to be unlocked. So these advanced recipes here like hardened fasteners, this requires 50 tech. Um, and a lot of these, you know, higher tiered blueprints will require that. Or the beetle miner or so on and so forth. There's a lot of, uh, a lot of uh, blueprints that are, you know, require you to explore the surface in order to unlock the ability to construct them. So here's another one. Remains of a rover. Uh, and all that was, was, hey, there's a rover here. Uh, maybe someone explored the surface. Maybe they did. So if you check up here, I do have a, um, a vehicle bay underway. It requires a ton of steel billet that I don't have and electronics that I don't have. I'm gonna make it my high priority but uh, it's gonna take a while in order to get the resources to do something with that. Biosamples and arrowhead fungus, nice. So here is arrowhead fungus. Uh, for me to be able to do something with this, I need 50 biosamples and some science. I have 25 biosamples, so I need to build that up a bit more. Uh, but that is some additional flora that I'm discovering. And as you can see, the world map, I haven't really explored more of it, but as you do, you'll unlock more of that world map. More organics, plant nutrients. Plant nutrients is um, a type of fertilizer that you can fertilize crops with, but I don't really need to fertilize my hemp and potatoes. I got plenty of those. I should check on my potato amount though. Another food chest. I have plenty of potatoes, but not a lot of cooked potatoes. My cook needs to start cooking. Uh, all right, here we go again. Remains of some vehicle. I can either 50% pry open the door or 37% blast through it. I'm gonna pry. He got a muscle strain. Uh, so we got injured rather than a success. Uh, one thing I should probably do is to invest in uh, some sort of um, medical bay. Also, Min, you're going to need a bed. So medical bay, I could put right up here. Med bay floors. 
I can put my med bay right like this. Now, as he's injured, his success chance on some of these, oh, bunch of tech fragments, some of the, his success chances will go down because he took, he sustained some, some, a sprain. Um, but that doesn't necessarily mean he has to stop. Um, the game does give you a little bit of leeway. Alright, 29% chance. It was locked, he couldn't figure it out. Now, the operations console, uh, well, mine's broken at the moment, but um, it will keep generating points of interest. So, there is no... I mean, I guess what I'm trying to say is, yeah, you can just keep messing up, and it doesn't, doesn't really have too many consequences. However you feel about that. Uh, well, that cave is way too risky. Uh, I'm going to have him head over to this last POI and then maybe come home. How's our progress on the vehicle bay? So we are making electronics and steel billet, but we're still pretty far away. So the steel billet here is um, requires uh, iron, which requires hematite, and requires anthracite. So what I need to do is just make sure I have plenty of that kind of stuff. Um, so hematite, I got plenty of, and Checking all this. Anthracite I got plenty of. Yep. So we'll be able to make more steel. No issue at all. all right. He's starting to fail at higher rates. I'm going to send him home. Or not fail at higher rates, but he's not really. He's st striking out. All right, we'll redock him. And he's a little hurt. Resting in a regular bed will eventually heal him, but um, the, whoa, the medi bed is a much preferred, much more um, rapid recovery. How's my stress doing now? Oh, look at that. Very low stress on everybody but Sharon. Uh, we are getting it done. All right, I'm gonna make this mini bed the highest priority, meaning it will steal steel billet from my vehicle bay. Uh, we uncovered a tech chest with a um, pump a motor, uh, some fasteners, electronics, and more billet. Oh, that's quite nice. Steel. Electronics is going back up. We should also see, remind ourselves what the electronics takes and what its prereqs are. So electronics um, is copper and bioplastic. Bioplastics is hemp, copper is uh, raw ore. So for the raw copper ore, um, that would be a bunch of azurite, 
which we have a ton of. And then for the hemp, we have 186, which is a pretty good amount to make our um, our, uh, our our materials. Oh, let's uh, tech printer here. Let's double our chance and reduce the electricity. I'm gonna turn off the robot assembler because we're not really using it. And then I'm gonna start to strip mine much of the map that's left. This of course will fill up our storage containers like there's no tomorrow. There is um, storage compression. You can store more stuff in a container. Um, yeah, I don't really like that spot. Uh, if you need to, but uh, it's kind of an expensive mod, so I, I tend to just add more storage because it's cheaper. But yeah, there is uh, storage mods. If you want to do it, it, they're in the equipment here. If you go into... Um, Machine equipment, it would be storage expander one and two. And they cost rubber, which I don't really have, and fasteners, which is why I haven't uh, queued them up. I don't really have the materials to. Food chest, more potatoes. How's my cooked potatoes? Do I have someone with cooking as a primary? I do, Sharon. She's stressed probably because she has a lot of stuff to cook. Uh, another thing I could do is the medibed that I just installed. Um, I don't really have a medic. Uh, you don't, I, I wouldn't say you really need a full-time medic because it's very unlikely that you'll just constantly be getting hurt over and over and over. But uh, Robin White, we're going to make you our chief medic. Um, and then we were running around with Chuck Jones, so... Let's see, Chuck no longer has any negative health effects. I think what I'm gonna do is power back on the research area. And our comms officer is going to go back to science and then min you're going to be a comms officer that also does tech and uh, building I guess so with the added research we've got here we unlock some blueprints we unlocked the ability to get processors or hardened fasteners or repair kits. I'm gonna do the hardened fasteners as they are a nice precursor tech. Hardened fasteners is a tech printer. So if we go to tech, go to hardened fasteners, we can uh, craft if below five. Hardened fasteners are required for some higher tech stuff. Um, all right, taking a look at our materials. Right now, we're just waiting on about 67 billet. Everything else has been manufactured. That's pretty good progress, actually, because the vehicle bays are extraordinarily expensive. One of the priciest things you can do. Uh, while we wait, what we could also do is head out another expedition. So let's do another one with Chuck Jones. He'll still be on foot. Uh, I'm going to give him a few potatoes to last a few days and embark him. Now I haven't actually discovered any of these biomes but that's something that I need a vehicle bay to do first. But we're getting one.
All right, I probably shouldn't have done that. I could have guessed the outcome. You know, less than 1% chance to uh, to succeed, and yet I threw him down into that cave anyway. He sprained his ankle. Now some extra food, and... Ooh, an advanced pump motor, which really puts out a lot more uh, water. And... I think that's probably the fanciest things here. So, the advanced pump motor, if I destroy the one that they had by default and install the advanced it will um, allow a lot more water flow out not that I've really been using the water but it's kind of nice more materials including some billet and you are ready to explore some more so 35% chance or 41 I'll go with 41 we get some bio samples at this point, it's just uh, like little random events. I might not even really read them. I know, a bit of a cop-out, but... All right, so I have enough bio samples to grow arrowhead fungus. Or rather, to research arrowhead fungus to potentially grow it. So if I go over to a crop field here, I can plant some arrowhead fungus for the first time ever. It's a brand new crop native to this planet that obviously didn't exist before we got here. And our botanist has planted some arrowhead fungus. And each uh, sort of food has its own... Well, we'll see once once I have a, a bit of a... Uh, a bit of a supply. Generally, the new crops unlock a type of resource that was otherwise unknown or um, restricted from you. Uh, we're definitely ready to explore some more. 35 or 41. 41, but still fail. Min is trying to research the surface. Um, he's doing his best. Uh, an expedition log. Interesting. You can always check out your discoveries here. This is Alex Kenner's Expedition Day Zero. He went up to the surface, uh, or the first day he went up to the surface, that's his log. Now, as you can see, eventually, because of the finite space that I have in the base, I will run out of resources. I'm not going to say it's necessarily all that soon, but once it happens, I guess I can't get to that wall light. Once it happens, um, I will need to generate resources from the uh, surface tile. And I'll show you how to do that soon. Uh, so we have 600 research saved up. I need one more um, data server for... And I might as well get it. I need one more data server in order to store a little bit more research to get um, the last uh, aeroponics. Because this requires 750, which is more than the 600 max that I have. But everything else, with three data servers, you should be able to research just about everything. Um, worker bots. So we have some broken down stuff. Funny enough, uh, Min, you should be repairing your own comm station. Why aren't you? And these little bots here don't even have work to do. So we'll queue them up. Give them an obnoxious amount of work. Uh, my expedition here is ready to survey. We got 
wheat thorn and some more bio samples. But uh, the comm station's been broken down, so there's no more things to explore up there. Oh, he did repair the comm station, but uh, the cooking station's broken. So wheat thorn is one more type of crop that allows us to grow flour. Or, you know, alien flower, whatever you want to call it. Oh, there's one more point of interest. We might as well hit that up. Uh, the robots that are running out of work, what I'm going to do is have you be a technician robot now. And then mine. And then haul. So worker Z, or whatever this one is, will start to repair stuff around the base. So that uh, it frees up my people to do it two other tasks another cave sounds too risky I'm gonna leave ah you know what I'm gonna do it and it did not go well his health is pretty low so he's gonna need a medic when he gets home oh well these things happen so where is that worker robot that I just tasked? It has not been repairing, I can tell you that much. Alright, so Chuck's back. He's waiting in the medibed. He's getting seen to. I suppose I can uh, make some medical cabinets here. Maybe a light, make it, spruce it up a bit, you know? Minerals chests. And we're getting pretty close to having all the required uh, resources for the vehicle bay. Which is a big old landmark. Alright, Chuck, are you healed? Yes, Chuck is healed up. Thanks to the medibed. And I'm going to leave Chuck. Um, I'm not going to redeploy him for a bit because he needs to run around and help to repair all the broken stuff uh, in our base because we've had a lot of damages and he's a he's a, a decent technician oh we're starting to harvest arrowhead fungus all right Chuck come on I want to see you repair stuff oh building Let's go, buddy. I'm watching you. We've got a broken kitchen table. Oh, there he goes. Now he's starting to repair the research station and eventually everything else. Your refinery is now fully repaired. And then next up will be the cooking station, and then I can re redeploy. I gotta say, the food dispensary is... Uh, really needs some love. Why is no one repairing that? Let's sort of watch his, oh, Chuck Jones. All right, so Chuck Jones, what I'm gonna do is, you're just gonna be an engineer. You don't need to keep fixing the tech printer. It's fine, leave it alone. Go fix the kitchen, we have nothing to eat. getting repaired up now we can start eating again 
Thank goodness. It's been patched. Please cook, because people are going to get hungry. Nice, clean, open area. I'm never really going to expand that far, but it's kind of nice. Oh, vehicle bay. Looks like it got built. So, there's the dog here, the distance-operated geo-explorer. I'm going to construct one of those. So, that's going to require electronics, still, and fasteners. So, we'll start to stockpile those resources up. And uh, that vehicle is going to help to scan biomes and stuff like that. It's probably the first thing you should build. Uh, if we take a look at the other vehicles, can I with this? No, uh, I can't at the moment, but here, let me cancel. Is it not even letting me cancel? Oh uh, yeah, it's canceled. Uh, so rovers, which allows people to move around and then resource transports that aren't gonna be necessary for a bit. Resource transports allow you to transport resources between surface buildings like mines and, and the like. Uh, if I go to the biorefinery, no, I can't do it yet. Okay. Just making sure there aren't uh, silicon carbide. There aren't uh, new recipes for me to unlock. I guess the cook burned herself. My new storages are just about full. Um, I'm just going to keep adding more storage shamelessly. So what I'm going to do is a giant hallway of storages, because <laughs> why not? Looks like I need some regular mining tasks too. So I'll queue up a mountain of it to be mined out. And deep drilled. I might want to consider a robot recycler at some point because my deep driller uh, eventually will run out of things to do. They, I'll run out of material that requires deep drilling, and then they kind of don't have a purpose after that. Adding some additional lights in, just to make it nice. All right, how's the progress? So 25 electronics, 25 steel billet. If I check, steel billet's at uh, 11 and electronics at 15. What I can do is queue these up. So 25 and go over to the ore processor, 25. Get those cranked out and making. Well, guys, that's about all the time I had for this episode. If you have any questions for me, drop me a line. Hope you enjoyed it, and hope you tune in next time for some more Mercury Fallen fun. Thanks for watching, everybody. I'll catch you all later. Adios.